Okay, and yet another ham radio related um, video. So I did a video the other day on this um, um, U-Kits HP-1B transceiver. And um, I briefly plugged in some of the, uh, the uh, keys that I have. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm just learning Morse code, so um, I'm not very good at it. I mean, I could send okay at 15 or more words a minute, which is, which is easy, the sending part. But the, um, the, the, the copying and decoding is the hard part. So, uh, you know, I'm a, you're a little apprehensive about getting on the air when you're new because you know that you can send your call sign and you can send a signal report and some other thing, but if the person that contacts you or you contact decides to, to get really busy and start sending you a bunch of stuff like, hey, my name is Bob and, um, and I live in Lubbock, Texas and I'm into wreath making and managing a car parts store and, you know, it starts to get a little, it starts to get a little unnerving because you're having trouble copying. You're trying to pencil down everything he says. So anyway. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to be uh, um, get some portable gear, and um, in preparation before I even had this, I've I've had some um, kits, and one of them is the American Morse Porta Paddle, um, and this that's what this is right here, and uh, this comes in a kit. And you have to assemble it. I, I didn't do a video assembling it, but uh, I got a bunch of uh, hot glue holding the wires down on the bottom so they don't fly away. But it, but um, this screw that's right here in the middle is. Um, it goes all the way through, so if you wanted to uh, mount it to something, you could screw it down to a piece of wood or whatever. I mean, but it does work good. I mean, these are adjustments on the side. The set screw's loose, that's why I'm able to turn these. Uh, it's just like any other paddle, you know, you adjust it to your liking. And um, I brought the, the, the rig out just so we can look. Uh, and again, I forgot the speaker. But have no fear, I have it right here. And I guess if this was a, uh, a gun channel, I would show you that my um, um, weapon was clear. But as you can see, I have a dummy load on my radio, so I'm not actually transmitting. <laughs> so anyway, um, you can hear that. It works pretty good. And it's very small, as you can see, and portable. And it's light. It's like aluminum. And um, so it works just like an iambic paddle, you know. And um, I like it um, quite a bit. And you can adjust it just like you would any other paddle. You turn these until, you know, whatever, it makes contact or how, how much slop it gets you want in the key is, is basically what it does. I mean, they're very simple. I've seen people make keys that, that are pretty um, cheap. So, and another key I have, and I, I really like this one. And I'm keeping it in this kit. And um, I'm still finding, I'm, I'm in the market for finding a way to transport this. And I figure it's going to be with this speaker and this little aluminum box here. I got this. There was a, I think we were at Goodwill and they had a bunch of these and they're like 99 cents or something. And I love containers and bags and pouches. So I, I got a few of them. I don't know, three or four of them. And um, it's a lot bigger than a um, tin for, uh, you know, Altoids. So inside this, I think I briefly showed that the other day. So this will be a kit for this. Um, this will be some earphones, some earbuds that go in there. Uh, this is an extra cable. I could probably take that out. This will be the cable for that will go into the keyer. And this is the 703, takes a quarter inch plug. That's why this is in there. My Icom IC703. But this is what I want to show. This is the, I don't know if I can get this in here. If I can get fo focused without glare. It's the T E N E K E, or the Tena key. And it's an interesting piece of equipment. If I get a good close-up here, it's just got a small, I guess that's copper, loop right there under that first screw, um, right here. And this is just a, um, a loop, as you can see. So when you push this, it doesn't take much, and you can see that it makes contact with that loop right there. And it's the same on both sides. And inside, it's simple enough, you know, you got the wires for the dip and a wire for the DAW, and they go there, and they go into this jack. And this hole in the center here, um, right here, is also so you can mount it to some kind of mounting plate. And um, I really like this key quite a bit. It's really sensitive. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, set this up so we can all listen to that too. 
And I'll show you one thing I do like, and I'm not good, like I said, so at Morse code. But if you were skilled, you could use this key. Just plug it up, and there you have it. So that's it. And the key itself, I mean, you hold it down here and put it on the table and... Well, if I'd have done that right. But it's very handy and I, I mean, if you were really talented, you could hold it in your hand and, you know, um, you could key that way. If you can remember which is the dit. So you could, if I could hold it right. <laughs> anyway, if I was more talented, I could do it with one hand. But I see a lot of people take these small kits and what they'll do is they'll take a modified clipboard and they'll affix this to a clipboard. As you can, on the bottom of this is already a patch of uh, hook and loop, or that's the loop portion of it. And um, they'll take that and attach it to a, an old clipboard and they'll use rubber bands and things to hold them down. And you can do the same with this, but with this it's so small, you could probably just put a single screw through the clipboard and, and have this key right there too. And it's really light. I mean, it's nothing to it. It's just like a little piece of, I don't even know what this is, but it's, um, I like it. Antenna key and uh, very simple device. Very, um, they got some tape there and for insulation. I like it quite a bit and I want to make this my portable kit and you know I've got that key and that key I'd love to have one of the uh, Palm Pico paddles but you got to face it them things are a hundred and some odd dollars and um, if I was good enough maybe but these work just fine that one over there works just fine and if I had to I could use this right here um, there we go so this is a lot harder to use than a paddle key with a paddle you know um depends on your preference but typically this will be a da and that'll be a dit and automatically da 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 did 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 right so with this one if you hold it down it's just one constant tone so you have to so see i can't even do it and this just puts out a constant tone but it's And I'm not good enough. This is very small. I don't know. I've never used a straight key. So anyway, uh, yeah, those are the small keys that I want to use for my portable setup. And I haven't figured out um, how I'm going to transport this uh, setup. Uh, so uh, when I do that, that might be another video. Um, but yeah, these um, these keys are fun, and I'm looking forward to um, getting more portable with this small stuff. So. Um, if you got any tips, advice, uh, if, uh, or anything, how what would be a good case for this? Um, I got some good dense foam at work that I could probably cut to, so it'll fit down in, and I'm not not that pick and pluck crap. I'm talking real good foam that it's two inches thick, and um, I'll probably make, be make a good kit that this will fit into. I mean, form fitting. I uh, just got to find the right Pelican case or Storm case or or even one of those little clear plastic cases you can get at Walmart. So anyway. Um, thanks for taking the time out to watch this. I hope you, um, uh, if you got any interest in any of these keys, let me know. And um, I'll answer any questions I can if you comment. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.